This is EA Sports coverage of the PGA Tour. Simply put, there is nothing like it in the game of golf. It is by far the biggest spectator event in the sport. We're at TPC Scottsdale in Scottsdale, Arizona. Hello again and welcome. Rich Lerner alongside my friend and colleague, Frank Nabilo. And Frank, what can you tell us about this golf course? Well, everybody wants to know about 16, the famed par three here, surrounded by those sky boxes. Uh, once again, that'll be a topic of the day. But really, this is a regular site for the PGA Tour. So those of you that were familiar with the golf course, it's now changed. 2014, the designers Morris and Weisskopf did a massive renovation. Well over 100,000 fans every day, better than a half a million for the week. It's a giant party mixed in with a heck of a tournament. Beautiful looking shot right here. Uh, Rich, look at that. Beautiful rhythm. Certainly completed the backswing there, and the result is a perfect tee shot. Well, it's clear he had a really good warm-up. That was a confident golf swing, and that's the way you want to start things out. Excellent shot. Now, this is not hitting in the right direction. Well, it looks like it's going to be in the rough. We moved that one out there, but he is not going to like the lie. Uh, that moved down in the rough. Second shot coming out of the rough here. Frank, how good was that just to get it on the green? Well, from that shot there, you would have thought for sure that there was no chance he had of finding the green. That was some shot. That is always so disappointing from that kind of a spot when you come up short. Yeah, you're looking your chops over that one. A shot you think you could hit directly at the flag. Uh, now, test for the short game. This one looks like it's headed right for the middle of the dance floor, Frank. Rather nice shot, I would say. Martin Keimer for birdie. Minus one, in early going. He has a 12-footer here. Drops it, and he's at even par. Getting set now over the putt. Makes the putt and goes to one under. Par four, second hole. A little bit longer than the first. This one at 442 yards. Yeah, they've added a new tee. Changed the bunkering down the right side. Still a semi-blind tee shot. A hole that bends softly to the left side. The bunkering around this green has changed. Uh, still, it requires a very precise tee shot. Long and straight. That's how you do it. Frank, through the years, we have seen countless 
what we would call good ball strikers, great swingers of the golf club, but there is something else that separates those kinds of players with the truly great achievers in the sport. What is it? Great achievers have more than one plan. I, I think most players, it's always good if they're playing their golf. But what do you do if your driving is off or if your iron player is off? Do you have a plan B? Great players not only have a plan B, they have a plan C as well. And that's the difference. So when you set foot on the first tee, you've also got to be aware of what if my driver doesn't go as well as I would like to or my iron play isn't as sharp. Can I still compete? So they can turn 74 into a 71. That's right. And at the end of a four-day tournament, the 71 doesn't look so bad, even if somebody shot 65 that day. Remember, as, as you know and, we bo and both of us know now, when you look at four days, someone always plays average for a day, but they don't play bad. Golf tournaments aren't 100-yard sprints. They're marathons. So that sets up a tougher second shot, missing the fairway with the drive, now in the rough. Second shot from the rough. It's on the way. Coming out of the rough and right up next to the hole. This is one of the more challenging shots in the game, the fairway bunker shot, isn't it, Frank? It, it is. You look at the distance involved, you know, obviously what's in front of him now. He has to hit this shot absolutely clean. This is the second shot at the par four. There's a big green, and they're going to use every inch of it. This is a cross-country special. Speed wasn't bad on that long putt, but the read wasn't very good. Locked in on the read and the speed. Well, that's how you keep a round going, make putts just like that. 11 feet away. Makeable putt right here. He is currently sitting at one under par. Did the job right there. Nudge this one home, finish it up. That's a par, and that keeps the scorecard clean, still even for the round. Now on to the third, first par five on the course here at TPC Scottsdale. Yeah, the length of the hole hasn't really changed. Uh, it used to be two fairway bunkers down the left, now there's only one. Still a hazard that runs down the right side. A strategic hold if you can't make this par five and two in a brand new green that has been completely changed. Long drive, but a bad lie. A uh, wicked. What a great shot. Frank, it makes the game easy when you play it from the fairway. Especially when you play it from a lie like that.
Frank, this one's not looking good. Yeah, it's certainly not down the fairway line, hitting toward the rough. Well, Mr. Ball does not meet Mr. Fairway. It's off, 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 rough. Second shot coming out of the rough here. did the prudent thing there, didn't he? Yeah, in the end, really, you could have turned that into a disaster instead. Actually, a good chance, really, to uh, perhaps get away with par. Just trying to make clean contact from the rough. Good recovery shot. Couldn't make the green, but at least he's back in play. Played the smart shot right there. And from the fairway for his second shot here. Whoop, this is taken off on a weird line. And it's going to be in the rough, it looks like. And a chance for Eagle after that perfectly played shot. Third shot, Keegan Bradley. Good looking shot right here. Now the third shot at the par five. Just needs to keep it steady here over the putt. Oh man, you can't miss him from that distance. Here's a birdie putt now for the 2014 U.S. Open champion Martin Keimer. Frank, this is the kind of start every player wants. Yeah, swinging it well. Certainly hit the ball in the right place there. And, uh, yeah, good thing, too. He's actually putting well. One under early in the round. Just a tap in to finish the hole. Now two to the good side. Really nice mix of holes to start here at TPC Scottsdale. The two fours and then the par five. Now our first par three. Just a little over 180 yards, Frank. Plays a little downhill, longer than what it once was. The green is radically different. It used to be deep, now it's wide. And the bunkering, of course, is visually totally different from what it used to be. Frank couldn't ask for anything more. Uh, just the lie there, too. It is sitting up like it's teed up. That is an excellent play right there. The approach, giving him another good look. Appears to be a smart shot, Frank. Yeah, no problem here. That's going to fly all the way. This is a 23-foot putt. And 
that is a phenomenal roll, Frank, from downtown. He has this for par. Hard putt, soft hands, beautiful putt. Been pretty good all day from this distance, just trying to take care of business. With authority, count it as a par and two under. Well, Frank, now at the fifth hole, the par four, the challenge stiffens just a bit. Yeah, the longest par four, obviously, in the start of this golf course, uh, around the 470-yard mark. Two bunkers down the right have been changed to one, but it's in the perfect position now. Of course, that new tee added to add a little bit of length to this hole. The green still remains relatively uh, similar to what it used to be. Oh, look out, Frank. Where's this one headed? Uh, this is definitely rough, Rich, off the tee. <laughs> Offline, and, and I think that one's headed for the rough. Not quite what he was hoping for, the tee shot in the bunker. Given this one the full treatment, perfect release through the ball, and this shot he is on the fairway, over 300 yards. And setting up here in the rough. Headed for the bunker? Well, too bad, he'll have to play from the bunker. Frank, what are the problems posed with a fairway bunker shot? He's got to hit it nearly perfect, Rich, because the, the bunker's going to magnify any mistake he makes. This is where you really have to focus on great contact. Now, a bit unfortunate in the bunker, Frank. Well, it'll be interesting to see what his bunker plays like. Second shot now for Patrick Rogers. This one looks like it's headed right for the middle of the dance floor, Frank. Rather nice shot, I would say. Not terrible, but not his best. Yeah, outside chance, really, for, uh, for Birdie, but um, really, it was a, a rather poor approach shot. All right, so greenside bunker. What's he looking to do with this shot, Frank? Well, really, you have to look at the amount of green you got to play with. You don't have to try and fly the ball right by the flag. Allow it to run. Plus, if you can get it to run like a putt, you never know. It might just go in. This is a long putt. Really, the key is the speed. If it drops, that's a bonus. Wow, that was so close, Frank. Just time to forget that one. I mean, he couldn't hit that much better. Keimer's made a lot of these throughout his career, having won the U.S. Open in 2014, the players as well. This is a par putt. <laughs> Missed on that one, Frank. Yeah, not a problem. Holding steady now at two under par. And getting ready for the putt. Good effort and a good par putt. 
So they'll tap in. Now at minus two for the day. Ready to tee off now at the six. This is a dogleg left. And another hole that's being stiffened by bunkers on both the left and the right side, uh, really giving you the decision on what club to hit. Should you be bold or should you be smart? Wait, this could be really good, Frank. Oh, straight at it. Long and straight. That's how you do it. That was just a beautiful drive. You hit it solid and right in the middle. Frank, I think that's going in the bunker. Looks like it. <laughs> he just missed the bunker. Looking to keep it going here, Frank. Yeah, another example of uh, things just working as they should. Oh, solid strike right in the heart of the green. Frank, not just a player, but an artist. Just beautiful work right there. The only thing I can say, Rich, is that was Sevi-esque. Ready for a second shot, trying to knock it on the green. This is a shot from 115 yards. Frank, it's not just a golf tournament at the TPC Scottsdale. It's a party. It's a giant pro down, isn't it? Yeah, it certainly is, but the atmosphere works here. It just fits in. The players are aware of it. They're quite fine to play amongst it, too, because it's just a, it's such a rare event. And to be honest, a lot of the fans, and there were almost 180,000 on Saturday alone in 2013, a lot of the fans they don't see a single golf shot. They're too busy having a good time, having a party. Bradley with a birdie opportunity. So with that make, now at three under par. You don't want to let this one get away. This is about concentration and focus at this point. Minus three now for the round. Has his par. On to the par three seventh, 215 yards from that back tee box, Frank. This hole hasn't really changed. Still has that V-shaped green where it's very narrow in the front. A high-flying shot in here that carries that front edge, and you'll find the further and further you go back there, the more receptive, and that green starts to widen. Booty try up next. Now, this is not hitting in the right direction. You know, it looks like it's going to be in the rough. And it looks like it's in the rough there, Frank. It might not be as bad as it looks. This looks like it's heading for the bunker. In the thick stuff. 
thick. It's brutal out there. Second shot coming out of the rough here. Just trying to make clean contact from the rough. Martin Keimer now ready to putt. What a sensational putt that was, Frank. Unbelievable. Pace, line, everything to perfection. Needs this for par. Hard putt, soft hands, beautiful roll. This one just requires a little bit of focus. Bradley trying to move on without a blemish. This one's for par. Three under on the day. Frank, the par four eighth. This is a good hole. It is. Uh, a dog leg to the left forces the player to go at the right, and uh, this will play every inch of its yardage, which is over 470 yards. Green still pretty much the same with that false front. Um, unless there's a uh, flag position in the front, you're really going to have to fly it at least 20 yards or so into that green. Otherwise, that ball is going to run towards the front. Whoop! this has taken off on a weird line. And it's going to be in the rough, it looks like. Well, he pays a price for that. Yeah, when you don't see the top of the ball in the rough, you know it's not sitting pretty. You need a bit of force to extract one out of there. Mr. Ball does not meet Mr. Fairway. It's off, 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 rough. Oh, beautiful swing, and the result is every bit as good. Oh, this looks good. It certainly is. He has given this one the full treatment. Perfect release through the ball. And this shot, he is on the fairway over 300 yards. He'll need to be strong with this. I mean, this skill and that, that was sublime. Just good hands, coming out of the rough, able to manage the distance, and now in great position. Frank did the prudent thing there, didn't he? Yeah, in the end, really, you could have turned that into a disaster instead. Actually, a good chance, really, to uh, perhaps get away with par. Seems to like it. Looks like it's headed for the green. Mm -hmm. 
Boy, this could be a tough one right here, Frank. It's a very long putt, Rich. Obviously, it's difficult, uh, but he still has a shot to sink this one for birdie. Oh, what a bonus. Getting set now over the putt. Another one goes in. Bradley now for birdie. Rolling, rolling, rolling the rock, Frank. Oh, and yet another birdie, Rich. Beautiful stroke. Here at the par four ninth hole, Frank, what's the strategy off the tee? Well, there's one bunker down the uh, right side that you have to be very wary of. 325 yards to carry that, so it's very much in play, and just over 290 to reach it. Ideally, you have to go left about that down the left side, but uh, really, this is a second shot hole because this green is not very deep. What a great shot. Oh, that's it, new member of the 300 yard club. Good poke right there. It's a hard game to play from the high grass. But, and that's where he's been more often than not today. 150 yards left to the flag stick here. This has been a great performance so far, but Frank, a long ways to go. Do you ever worry about complacency? Yeah, sometimes it just looks like it's too easy. At the moment, the putts are going in, the iron shots are going close enough. But uh, some things, you know, they don't happen by, by accident. He's got to still keep concentrating right now. Frank, really good chance from this position to make a birdie. Yeah, really the only thing he's looking at right now is the flag. You know, this is a green light special. Playing this par four, still not on the green after that second shot. That's still not done. Um, a good third shot, maybe get away here with par. Second shot now for Martin Keimer. Chance to close out the front side here with a birdie. So Frank, just from the fringe, what's the best way to hit this shot? The best players would chip. Mm, this is gonna be risky though. I don't know if he's got the skill. Frank, I'm not saying he should pull out driver here, but this is a long putt. Greens are fast, though. You never know. Good line, good pace. Might have a chance. Could it be? Well, that just brings a smile to your face, puts a little pep in the step when you make them from downtown. Birdie chance here. Very long putt, though. Got to be a little careful if it gets away on him.
pretty good all day from this distance, just trying to take care of business. He's putting for bogey now. So after all that, it's a bogey. Did the job right there. Excellent front side, trying to keep it going here on the second nine. He's just playing beautifully, hitting so many good shots, giving himself so many opportunities. Can he keep it going? That one is bunker bound, it looks like. Just a bit offline and into the bunker. And the tee shot ends up in the bunker. That one is in the fairway, down there about 290 yards. Nice That's a good spot right there. Send a cut. Second shot now for Keegan Bradley. Well, there's a big green, and they're going to use every inch of it. Chance for birdie after that beautiful shot. Frank, this is a position where a player is absolutely licking his chops here. Good chance to make a birdie. Yeah, this is when this game just looks like fun. Bunkers don't seem to be in play. The only thing you're really looking at right now is just the flag. Frank, just a slight miss off the tee. He's in the fairway bunker. Yeah, I just really got to pick the right club once again. Sometimes you take a little bit more club out of the fairway bunker, choke down. And second shot. Really not much to this. The only issue would be a lack of concentration or focus. Missed on that one, Frank. Yeah, not a problem. Martin Keimer for birdie. Beautiful roll right there, dead center. This is a nine footer. Par bid here. Three under on the day. Knocks that putt in for par to stay at three under. Moving on to the 11th hole, Frank Water all along the left side, 472 yards. How do you handle this one? Well, this one's weird because the tees are a little off center. They start down the right side, which makes it into a dog leg. And uh, you mentioned the water, it always comes into play. And there are zero fairway bunkers. You don't need them here at 11 because really it's all about the tee shot. Find the fairway, 
then uh, even though it's a long par four, you should be able to at least attack that green safely. Miss the fairway to the right, which is the bail outside, and your problems are just starting. Uh, there is fairway out there. There is. <laughs> he can't find it, though. Frank, he is one of the longest hitters in the game, but at some point, you have to hit a fairway. Yeah, he's uh, certainly not the straightest. I think that was the bit you're going to put in the middle. Frank, this ball's in the rough. Do you like to hinge just a little bit quicker on the takeaway when the ball is down like this? No, when it's down, you've just got to make sure that you wind up almost like you're hitting a tee shot. Uh, this is not one to be dallied with. Uh, you've got to hit it powerfully and you really have to focus on that club getting through the grass, past the ball, and out the other side. Well, Mr. Ball does not meet Mr. Fairway. It's off, 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 rough. Ball sitting down here in the rough, he's digging in. Good recovery shot. Couldn't make the green, but at least he's back in play. Played the smart shot right there. Second shot now for Patrick Rogers. This one doesn't look good. There's water over there. So toweled off, dried off, and ready to go. Yeah, let's hope uh, this swing he hasn't still got the floaties on. So this is his fourth shot after the last one found the water. It's not all over, but uh, right now, too, he's staring uh, down the barrel of a, a very bad hole. And the lie pretty much dictated the result. Thick rough, tough to get that all the way to the green. Trying to muscle it out of there, but you had to be Schwarzenegger to get that one done. You don't want to let this one get away. This is about concentration and focus at this point. Wow, I thought he made that. So the short miss, and those are painful. Well, certainly playable from here. Ball is in the first cut, not too bad. Bradley trying to move on without a blemish. This one's for par. Just singes the edge, Frank. Yeah, but at least he's burning the edges. You know you're hitting good parts. These putts keep the round together. Showing no signs of weakness. That's a good putt right there. Stays at four under. So with that, the score is now at even par. So just a formality here. So not his best work. He'll walk away with a bogey. Well, Frank, this is kind of the forgotten par three on the back nine here at TPC Scottsdale. All of that attention on hole number 16. What do you think of the par three 12? This is by far tougher, Rich. Uh, downhill tee shot, especially off that back tee. Bunkering down the left, sort of t it, it, it catches your eye, but it also takes your eye off the water, which is behind and to the right of this green. Got to be careful. This is a real sleeper, this par three.
needs a pair of binoculars to see the hole. You like that right there, Frank? Beautiful lag putt. Great pace. Frank, he'll have to take a full swing at this putt for birdie. This is long, but every now and again, one of these finds the bottom of the cup and makes that magic sound. That was not a very good read right there. And getting ready for the putt. Good looking putt right here. You might like it. Get in the hole. Can you believe that? This putt for par. Four under on the deck. With authority, count it as a par and two under. Par 5, 13. Frank, what kind of scoring opportunity is this? Well, Any time you get on a par 5, obviously birdies and eagles come to mind. 13's been changed a little bit over the years. The split fairway's gone, now it's just one fairway. Water in play, bunker on the left side, they certainly define this fairway. And they've toughened up the front and left side of this par 5 uh, green. The longer hitter, the high ball hitter, still will get a reward of 13. Frank, it makes the game easy when you play it from the fairway. Especially when you play it from a lie like that. Second shot coming up here at the par five. Now from a good position in the fairway, his second shot. Good lie in the fairway, a good chance to make something happen here. Frank, this one's going too far left, it looks like. Yeah, it was fine there for a little while, but if it keeps going left, it's doomed. Frank, way offline all day long. Yeah, this is, uh, this is a head-scratcher, really. I've seen him play before, normally much better than this. This is, uh, this is abnormal, that's for sure. Well, Frank, obviously way too much club there. <laughs> you you got to think something like that, or at least misread the wind. This is never going to sit down. One of the game's talented young players, Patrick Rogers, ready for his approach. Bit surprising, misses the green in regulation here at the par five. Yeah, you'd think this is one of the easier holes on the golf course. Um, so now just trying to avoid six. This requires a lot of speed through the ball.
That just came out blazing. As soon as it hit the green, it was never going to stop. So the golf ball ends up in that first cut. It's a little bit less than two inches. You can see the golf ball should be able to get at it, but may not be able to control the spin. We'll see. Pretty good shot right there. Shot now from the rough. Frank, what's he facing? Well, the lie first and foremost. If it's sitting down, then obviously you're not going to get a very good contact. Nothing wrong with coming up a little bit short of the green. Problem is turning one mistake into another. Locked in on the read and the speed. Just misses. Very well done. Almost made it. Yeah, there'll be no stress for the next one. This is a par putt for Patrick Rogers. Frank, we see it every single round. These kind of putts determine whether it's a good score or an average score. Yeah, and just like that, a bogey. And does not feel like he deserves it. Well, too bad, he gives one back. Martin Keimer, really smooth putting stroke. One majors, one of players, with a hot putter. And he's ready. He's made it. He has to make this for a double bogey. Par 4, 14th, and Frank, this hole packs a little punch, doesn't it? Yeah, the addition of just a, a little bit more yardage, plus the bunker on the left has been pushed out into the fairway, actually makes the hole play a little bit longer than its 490 yards. Second shot is a little bit uphill. No longer is there a bunker on the right side. That side of the green is actually open. But you don't really want to be trying to miss that green on the right. Should you decide to go at the flag, well, you're going to have to carry that front bunker. Long and straight. That's how you do it. Frank, right where you want to be. Oh, wouldn't be better in, if it was on a tee. Well, this one is, is offline just a bit. Look out. Well, that one is going to end up in a rough. Well, he pays a price for that. Yeah, when you don't see the top of the ball in the rough, you know it's not sitting pretty. Going to need a bit of force to extract one out of there. Ball sitting down here in the rough. He's digging in. Headed for the bunker? Not his best shot, and now he'll have to deal with a bunker. Yeah, they say the hardest shot in golf, the next one. And from the fairway for his second shot here. Should be safely on deck. Midway through this back nine, could use this birdie here at the 14th. 
in the fairway. It's lying nicely and 180 yards left. You know how to play this shot, Frank, right? You keep your chin up, you look down your nose at the ball, you have to pick it cleanly and keep your head still. Keegan Bradley for par. Well, hello there. Huge bonus making that one. Really? This is an awkward length. You don't want to let this one get away. This is about concentration and focus at this point. Still playing even for the day after the par. Just a couple of feet. Nothing wrong with that par putt. All right, Frank, now the fun begins. We are teed up at the par 5 15th hole. Plenty to talk about here. Yeah, the fairway down the left side is anything other than straight. It's more like a shipwreck, the raggedness of it. And that water in play, well, if you do find one on the fairway, you can sort of always wave across to the people that are walking down the 11th hole. Find the fairway, you can reach this par 5 and 2. A little bit of an island looking green there, bunker on the left, and also another bunker just short right. But a fairway missed here. Well, you can rack up five, six, seven. We've seen all sorts of scores here at 15. Frank, he is one of the longest hitters in the game, but at some point, you have to hit a fairway. Yeah, he's uh, certainly not the straightest. I think that was the bit you're going to put in the middle. Uh, see that bit with a mo? That's fairway. Try and get it in there. Well, that ball nestled down just a bit in that heavy rough. Second shot coming out of the rough here. In the thick stuff. Thick? That's brittle out there. Rich, with a lie like that on the rough, you're going to get too much grass between club face and ball. You're going to have to adjust for that and at least take a club or two more. Appears to be a smart shot, Frank. Yeah, no problem here. That's going to fly all the way. Crucial eagle attempt on the way. He'll need to be strong with this. Hazard. Maybe wet. 
Frank, they threw him a light vest. He's back on dry land. And I hope this time he swings, he doesn't have the water wings on. So this is his fourth shot after the last one found the water. It's not all over, but uh, right now, too, he's staring uh, down the barrel of a, a very bad hole. Just in the first cut of rough, not a bad lie. The only issue is he might get a jumper here. Seems to like it. Headed for the fat part of the green. Frank, I'm not saying he should pull out driver here, but this is a long putt. Greens are fast, though. You never know. Good line, good pace. Might have a chance. Wow, I thought he made that. Speed wasn't bad on that long putt, but the read wasn't very good. This one just requires a little bit of focus. Makes the putt and goes to one under. Timer trying to run another one in. This is for birdie. Continues to amaze yet another birdie. And what a day it's been. As this to save par. Has his par. Well, partner, here we go. Players have characterized it as terrifying, chaotic, amazing. The stadium atmosphere here at this hole, the 16th of par three, is really spectacular, isn't it, Frank? It is. Because of the atmosphere, the number of people, this is the closest a golfer gets to, like, kicking a, a field goal in a Super Bowl. It's just surrounded by people. It's not really the difficulty of the hole. Just over 160 yards, a modest par three. There's no water in trouble. But it's an atmosphere that golfers never normally are familiar with. No problems there. A really good approach shot. And now, good look at Purdy. This is a putt for birdie from long range. Probably would be happy to get down in two. You've got to be kidding me. That was right on the edge. I tell you, he wants to do over there. The way that came out, really lucky to be on the fringe. He'll still have a, a good chance to come out of here with a decent score. All right, Frank, just on the fringe, he might be thinking about making this. Yeah, he's a better chipper than you, Rich. Frank, he has to be scratching his head as he reaches for a sand wedge or a gap wedge for his next shot. Well, you know the FedEx Cup, Rich. I mean, you're meant to get there by 10.30 tomorrow. That thing's still going. Well, he'll have to get up and down from the bunker to save his par. Well, bunker play is really about technique and feel. The two greatest ever are probably Gary Player and Seve Ballesteros. Seve actually was so good, he was so skilled, that he could open up a three iron. That's right, a three iron on a short bunker shot from a green side bunker and splash it to a couple of feet as if he had just used a 60-degree sandwich. Amazing. Yeah. Been pretty good all day from this distance, just trying to take care of business. Even par, currently. Oh. 
Did the job right there. Just a little tap in here. So he has that for bogey. I can't help but think that the double bogey back on the 13th hole seems to have knocked him off his game. He is not playing well. Frank, when you get to the 17th hole, we always recall maybe the single most bizarre shot in the history of golf. Yeah, everybody talks about maybe a hole in one at 16, but really 17. And the player was Andrew McGee. It was a good tee shot, don't get me wrong. But Rich had needed an assist. Well, the assist came from Tom Byram whose brother Kurt is a commentator for the Golf Channel, Tom Byron was just minding his own business, standing on the green, sort of leaning on his putter, and you know what happened. Yeah, the ball hit Tom Byron's putter, and then Kareem into the hole. So, 17. Made famous a little bit of history with a couple of names to drag up from the past. This is not hitting in the right direction. You know, it looks like it's going to be in the rough. Rich, do you think we should tell him this fairway out there? Yeah, he's been in the rough all day long. Well, this looks good. Certainly is. Second shot coming out of the rough here. Well, that's what the great ones do. From the rough, they use their skill and their strength to get it out and get it close. Second shot now for Patrick Rogers. Oh, it looked like he caught a flyer right there, Frank. Well, I don't know what he caught, but this is way too much. Either misjudged the win or simply just pulled the wrong club, Frank. Gonna take some skill now. This is a long putt. Really the key is the speed. If it drops, that's a bonus. Well, that's not the way you wanted to start out the backside here. Yeah, you can't afford from uh, inside 10 feet. It just, you feel like you have to make those. And um, I mean, they really sting when they miss. Frank, in golf, as we know, there's short grass and there's long grass. We all want to be in that short grass, but it doesn't always work out that way. So what's the most important element from the shot, from the rough? You have to be a little bit more conservative first and foremost because you can't guarantee a perfect strike out of the long grass. So therefore, you have to look around, around the greens, maybe short to the right, to the left, and realize what's involved. And also just give yourself a slightly bigger target. Settles in over the putt. So in the red figures at one under. Just a tap in to finish the hole. With authority, count it as a par and two under. Rich, 18 was always considered a long finishing hole. Not for J.B. Holmes. Yeah, the water was always in play. And then the day he took it over the left side and carried everything and went on to win, that completely changed the way this golf course played ever since that day. And it resulted in some of the changes we're seeing now. Yeah, um, evidence, the new bunkering down the left side. But it also 
it showed. You went for the brief swim there, Frank. He's trying to stay dry now. He is. Uh, just trying to avoid water on the brine as well. <laughs> this will take a good swing. Third shot now after the last one found the deep blue. Yeah, you can still minimize the damage here. It's only one bad shot that you got punished for. Not looking good, Frank. Uh, I think it's wet. So hit the previous shot in the water, took a drop. This now the third shot. That appeared to be a good strike right there, Frank. No, oh, good. It's just towering. Look at that hanging in the sky. They'll be happy with that in the fairway. Now a good chance to attack this hole. Frank, this looks tough. He's on the macadam, but for a high-level professional? Well, he's taking the wrong path, Rich. We have a couple of hundred yards to this flag stick. Frank, for players looking to improve their putting, what are some of the training methods they can use? I think speed is always a, is a good one when you get on the putting green and you just practice trying to putt inside that three-foot circle because in the end, all sports are the same. You're trying to focus in on the destination where that ball has to be delivered, whether it's tennis in, inside the court or basketball inside the rim. Putting's no, no different. As you get further and further away from the hole, then you just make an acceptable size circle that you're trying to putt within. So pace, very important. Uh, this looks like it's going to find the target. Great professionals, Frank, they don't fear the greenside bunker shot, do they? No, because you can be as aggressive or as conservative as you want. You actually have far more options, and you don't have to hit the ball first. Might want to check the GPS on a putt this long. Might be. Could be. Wow, I can't believe he found the cup on that one. Clean up on aisle five. Keegan now to lose only one shot. Frank, he just can't seem to put it together today. Yeah, really, you've got to go back to that double bogey, Rich, because ever since then, it's been like a different player. And, and that's one thing that you have to get over experience-wise. Somehow you've got to let that go, but uh, it is easier to say and harder to do. Solid effort today, round of 72. Well, Frank, this day had a little bit of everything. I mean, you always catch your breath after a round at TPC Scottsdale because it's, it's generally just so exciting, and today was no exception. Yeah, the atmosphere here is unlike any other TPC golf course. Uh, the fact that you know you're playing a golf course where the PJ Tour visits.